to my channel Sona's Diary. So today is one of the most requested video from my friends. They're literally behind me asking me to make a video on the topic study tips and tricks. These tips and tricks are very simple and easy and you guys can surely try it out. These tips were made by me and it is from my experience. So let's straight away go into the video without a further ado. So before starting with the tips and tricks, I would like to say one thing that is pray. Before you start your study session, when you pray, you feel motivated and refreshed etc. and you feel much better. Better. So do this tip before you start your study session and that makes you feel much more better. So I have my list over here. So let's go according to the list. So my first tip on the list is don't pile up your work. I know many of my friends keep on lagging their work for later and later. This is not a good habit. Do your work in time and complete up your work. So don't keep it for later time and even if it's an exam thing then you will completely forget what you have learned. So do your work on time. So let's move on to the next one. So my next tip from my side is read your textbook. Whatever your teacher has taught you, make sure you read that concept in your textbook because this, uh, this allows you to make much more better understanding. You can use different highlighters, color pens, color pencils, something like that to underline or highlight the keywords. For example, for me, I have uh, highlighted the keywords which I thought is important. This helps me to understand my chapter much better. So if you have not yet started doing this step, this is a very good tip. So try that out in your textbook and it helps a lot. So let's move on to the next one. So my next tip is write your new equation in a notebook. I love all of my teachers and they have been teaching me very nicely all the concepts. But this tip was actually recommended to me by my third standard math teacher. She actually told me this tip and I thought I would like to share to you. That is whenever you are learning a new formula or a new equation in any subject let it be math, you can take a register or any book of your fave and write it down. For example for me this was actually from third standard so this book actually consists equations from third standard till seventh standard right now I am in seventh. So it's still 7th standard and I've written all the equations which are needed for me and I feel this is very important for me and for other subjects of course I cannot forget them for other subjects such as English social science and different subjects like that I have kept another book like this this is for English and social science now what I meant as an equation an example of it what I meant is like this Many of you have difficulty in learning the planets of the solar system. So here's kind of a tip from my teacher too. My very energetic mother just served us noodles. These are like the um, name of the planets which start from the starting of the letter. Like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. This helps you to memorize the planets of the solar system very easily. Now what I meant as a formula or an equation in math is this. King Henry died, mother didn't cry much. This is also a very simple way to learn it. It's like the conversion of units of kilometer, hectometer, decameter, etc. So you can use these kinds of tips and write it down in your notebook. This helps me a lot. Whenever I have a doubt, I can just pop in this notebook and I get the answer for it. So make sure you do this tip. Let's move on to the next one. So my next tip is difficult tasks first. I know many of you all uh, hate some of the subjects. So whatever subjects you find it difficult, you can do those difficult tasks at the first. This helps you to feel much fresher while you doing the smaller tasks which you have. So do this step so that at the starting of the study session, you feel very motivated to start studying. So do your difficult tasks first. So according to my list, the next step on my list is good environment and have all the essentials. Good environment means your place should motivate you. For example, I am studying in my room and I make sure that my room is completely clean so that I don't get distracted and also have all your essentials like a pouch, your books, your water bottle because you might feel dehydrated in the middle so you can hydrate yourself with a water bottle. Now why I said have all your essentials is that for each and everything when you keep on coming out of your room you get distracted and unmotivated. So better than that is to keep all the essentials with you itself. So the next one is jotting down the points. Whenever your teacher is actually explaining some content or some topic, make sure whatever you feel is important or are the keywords, make sure you jot it down somewhat like this. As I jotted down on my list, whatever points I'm supposed to say, same thing, whatever your teacher says, whatever you feel it is important, jot it down. This helps a lot at the exam time. Last but not the least, take breaks. And this especially says no use of phone. I love to take 
the phone when it is break time actually i study like for one hour and then take like break for five to ten minutes at this time i love to take my phone but unfortunately my dad doesn't allow that so that doesn't happen in my house but i have um a time to watch after my study session so you can just wait for the time and don't take your phone in the break time instead of that you could talk with your parents if you have a pet you could go hug that pet or do something like that but do not use your phone because phone actually tempts you also if you're studying in a room make sure your phone is not near you because that tempts a lot i have experience so do not do that tip so i will just do a recap that is pray don't pile up your work read your textbook and highlight whatever is important equations in your book difficult tasks first do the difficult tasks first have a good environment and have all the essentials jot down the important points take breaks but no use of phone so i hope you like this video these were some of the important tips from my side from my personal experience which helped me a lot i am trying to do all these tips these are very simple ones so you guys can also try them out so hope you like this video if you like them don't forget to like share and comment down below if you like my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so see you guys soon and bye